Welcome back, everybody. Looking at our current conditions, we got 29 degrees right now in San Angelo. Winds have calmed down a little bit from the west at about five miles an hour, and around the rest of the region here, temperatures are sitting in the 20s and 30s as we continue getting through these early morning hours. A little bit warmer up in Coleman at 39 degrees at this time. But for the Lone Star State here, we have a lot of 20s, 30s, and 40s across this area. So we are going to be a bit cooler than what we had at the end of last week. However, not too much is going to be expected as far as any sort of precipitation. As a matter of fact, majority of the western half of the U.S. is sitting pretty decent right now. We have a few clouds and showers starting to make their way into Washington State. But off to the east coast here, we do have showers that continue to make their way into the Atlantic around Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinas, and a bit into Virginia as well. But zooming into our region here, not too much going to be going on for these early morning hours. As a matter of fact, we're going to have plenty of sunshine throughout the rest of our day today. Winds are going to be remaining fairly calm as we go through today, so it is going to be feeling pretty decent. Highs are expected to be upper 60s to low 70s, so not a bad way to start off our Monday. And this is all thanks to the jet stream that continues to stay in the northern part of the U.S., so we're going to have plenty of warmer air coming in from the south as we progress into Wednesday morning. So we'll have plenty of clear skies as we go through today as well as tomorrow and heading into early Wednesday morning. Not too many clouds are going to be seen. However, the drought monitor kind of expanding a little bit on this extreme level here, especially along the eastern and the western edge of the Concho Valley. And that exceptional, which is that dark red here, that continues to also expand closer into our region. So it is going to make things a little bit harder to maintain outside, and if a fire starts, it's going to be easier to spread as it gets a little bit more dry through the rest of the week. And we're not expecting any precipitation. Possibly midnight around Friday we could, but chances are very slim, especially with the dry condition. And then a cold front is expected to come through at the end of the week into this weekend, dropping our highs down to the mid-50s by Saturday.